Just the style wheel I'm ultimately going to go for in this car. Just one an inch bigger. These are probably 14 by 6s, maybe 14 by 7s. It's just sitting on there right now, no lug nuts, just to get an idea. Definitely sits inboard quite a bit. Stripping down the grid a little bit more. Flying over the moonscape. Yeah, the spaceship. Anyway, look at that bubbling up there. A little primer coming up. Don't want to touch it. The camera will probably ruin the camera. So I've just about got this half of the hood done. Let's sand it down, smooth it out. Take some more of the primer off the old-fashioned way, but get the big stuff off with the stripper. And need to get this molding off, pull these pieces off. So I think the ribs are chromed. So I don't think the trim is. If it is, I'll do it all chrome. If not, I'll at least do the, the center section. Yeah. Slowly plugging away at it. I gotta get that molding off too for that guy. Work on that for a little bit. I just forgot all about that. Gotta get this piece off. What I need to figure out, what I need to find, take this molding off, nothing holds my lens in. There's supposed to be, for cars without this molding, a little chrome bezel that goes around just the lights, both front and back. I need to find those. Have to shop around, see what I can dig up. I'm try to figure out how these pop off. This one has two screws in it. Same as the other side. The other door has four screws in it. This one only has one. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. Plastic clips. Okay. Get that other screw out, pull that off. I just figured out how to pop them all off now. That was a nice teeny sound. Rust. Get that all worked out. I guess I still haven't put all the, the holes down there. It's like Swiss cheese. That's funny. Start getting some sheet metal on order here in the next uh, few weeks, I think. Hoping Ken was going to swing by today. We were going to try to fire this thing. But I haven't really done anything to do to get this thing turning over yet. Probably going to yank the battery out of the Jeep. Throw it in here. Because all those batteries are dead. If I had the money, I'd just go run out and buy a new battery for it and put it on a trickle charger for until I get it running. I like those wheels. It's even not a very not a bad blue. That 79 cutlass these came off of. It was that blue for the, if I remember right, was the hood. It was a two-tone car. Ran along the, under the windows. Now the rear windows were curved up because those had a more upright rear window and then it was silver for the lower body. Sharp looking car. That may wind up being a project sometime. Find another one of those and redo it like mom and dad's old Oldsmobile. That's the first car I ever remember riding in was a 79 Olds Cutlass. Alrighty. Shut the camera off. Couple more videos to throw up. Paint strip off, old primer and whatnot. Start getting get one. Oh, it shows up on the camera here. Got one dent right in here. Got another little dent right in here. I'm not gonna touch it because I got the strip of look in there again. Okay, have to go buy some Bondo. 
thing here is a seam, uh, a mold, uh, I should say a mold, a bend line on the hood runs up. I'm hoping that it didn't bend over around that dent. It doesn't look like it. So, anyway, tinkering around with it. Got the stereo cranked up. Grab a vacuum, clean out the interior a little bit more. Maybe work on pulling that column out. Get, see if I can at least get that shaft swapped out. Oh, project cars. Something to play with. I think I've pretty much decided if we paint it this winter, I'm going to leave the sunroof in. Just because I don't want to have to have the paint over potentially warped, wavy sheet metal when we try to patch that hole. So I'm going to leave the sunroof in until I decide to put a vinyl roof on it. Then we can grind it all down, patch it, respray it just to get some paint on it so it doesn't, uh, doesn't rot. The only drawback with that is, may as well not even bother putting a headliner back in it, just because I don't want to cut a hole in a brand new headliner. And this one's it's mostly just back here. I don't know. We'll figure something out as we go. I may wind up just replacing it. Who knows? If we can get some nice thick sheet metal that won't warp. Go ahead and change that up. It's alright. Thought I almost had a uh, paint stripper on the camera there. Doesn't smell like it. Picked up some grease. So, anyway, give you a Jeep Olds, or give you a Jeep update, give you an Olds update. No wheeling today. Uh, kind of hanging out the house, kind of cloudy, cool, enjoying a day off. Gotta get some laundry going. I'm still wearing my pants from yesterday, but it's so muddy. Throw them in so I got a clean pair for the week. Nice looking truck. Rock for mom. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.